Is it my turn yet? Guys, you've got sticks and a ball. You're just missing one thing. The dog. The dog. Are you okay? I just don't understand their fascination with wheels. I mean, hey, I play ball without wheels every day, and I am a professional. Who needs wheels to go left, go right, or even jump? What's up? Try that with wheels. <laughs> no one's paying attention. Ah, well. I guess people need wheels because they've got to make do with only two feet, not four, like some fortunate souls around here. Ah, must be tough being a human. Helps close. Wishful, look out! Ah! Feet don't fail me now! Don't those things come with brakes? Great pass, Sue. Thanks, that was an awesome play. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this team's ready to play some hockey. Yeah. All right, enough talk. Let's choose sides and play for real. Sure. Ah, the age-old ritual, choosing up sides. The process of natural selection to see who's the pick of the litter. I got Kobe. I'll take Sarah. And who's the runt? I'm not taking him. Come on, DeMont, you need another guy. We'll make do with what we got already. DeMont? Look, if you want him to play, you take him. Joe, go ahead and take him. I'll sit out. No way! You, me, and David, we're a team, remember? Yeah, we always play together. Would you make up your minds already? Look, we can just forget the whole thing. He wants to play, and he should play. No, really, I don't want to start any problems. Guys, you gonna take him or what? No, it's okay. Really? Ouch, that looked like it hurt. But I guess that hurts even more. Public humiliation. Nothing worse than that. Sort of like being Quasimodo. He's the main character in The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. The story takes place in 1482 in the city of Paris. Quasimodo is a lonely hunchback who lives in the cathedral of Notre Dame. He's the bell ringer, so he spends most of his time high up in the cathedral tower. He has no friends, and his only joy is the ringing of the bells. <sighs> I need to get out more. I can't spend my whole life in a tower. Out in the public square, a big festival was going on. It was called the Day of Kings and the Feast of Fools. <laughs> it 
It was a time for plays, performances, and singing. But the really big deal was... Look! Here he comes! The crowning of the Prince of Fools. <laughs> This wasn't exactly what I had in mind when I said I wanted to get out more. Why, it's just Quasimodo, that deaf bell ringer. Ugh, that ugly hunchback. I didn't know. He lives way up in that cathedral bell tower. At least there we don't have to set eyes on that awful face. <laughs> All right. All right. You've made your point. <laughs> wow, who's that? She's beautiful. We've got the beauty and the beast. <laughs> Who am I to compare to her beauty? Uh oh. Hi. <laughs> I oh. 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 Ow. Easy. Easy. Ooh. Um. You get what? Uh, sir, I may be deaf, and that may be sign language, but you've got quite a stutter. Don't you play cute with me. You know who I am, Dom Cloud Froyo, your master. Surely you haven't forgotten how I took you in when you were left as an orphan child on the steps of the cathedral? How I raised you, taught you everything you know? Come. We have important work to do. Yeah. Why do I have the feeling this can't be a good thing? for dinner. Oh, look at her. Her eyes, black and sparkling as the night. Her feet flow together like spokes in a spinning wheel. Her graceful arms twine and entwine like two scarves. Oh, I get it. You like her. I must have her. You will get her for me. Ooh. My master is, how shall I say this, extremely troubled? Or else. On the other hand, you're a reasonably attractive man with only partial male pattern baldness. I mean, what's not to like? <laughs> oh, boy. You forgot one? Yeah, thanks. Um, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but... Well, there's this guy who wants to meet you. He's my friend. Well, actually, um, he's my master. <laughs> actually, he's totally nuts. I mean, nuts about you, that is. <laughs> I must be going. No, wait, you don't understand. If you don't say bonjour to this guy, it's au revoir for me. Get it? Foil! What? 
did you do to her? What? Hey, come back here! Um, miss? Miss? Wake up! Please? Come on! Everything's gonna be okay! You there! Oh, hi guys! Um, would you believe me if I told you this isn't what it looks like? <laughs> Ugh. Wishbone! What? Get off my tower! Fine. Guess the kid got his chance. Good for him. Ooh. Then again, maybe not so good. <sighs> Looks like I'm not the only one around here who doesn't belong on wheels. Oh yeah, gotta have a talk with this kid right away, before he ends up in the hospital. Check this out. Come on. Boy, this kid can't catch a break. Yet. Now there's somebody with the courage to offer a helping hand, even when it might not be popular. A helping hand is definitely what Quasimodo needed, especially after he was accused of a crime he didn't commit. Ah, Quasimodo, how do you like your punishment for trying to kidnap that gypsy girl, hey? <laughs> You were thinking you could woo her with your good looks? <laughs> Please, might I have just a little water? Mamselle would love to get some nice cool water. If you'll give her a smooch! Get me away from the brutes! <sighs> Uh-oh, bad news. She must hate me for what I did. <gasps> this is it. Revenge! I'm doomed! Water? You? Me? Wow. Mm. I wouldn't do that if I was you. He's the work of the devil, don't you know? As wicked as he's ugly. Oh, thanks. I mean, really, thanks. I mean, really, 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 thanks. I felt sorry for you. What else could I do? Come on, let's go. Where are you going? To teach Nathaniel how to skate. You what? She's what? You what? You're kidding. The kid's a total klutz. Oh, like you've never fallen down or embarrassed yourself in public before. He just needs some lessons, that's all. That is, if you want me to help you. Well, yeah. Okay then, let's go. This is an interesting development now, isn't it? 